Hello viewers, this is the Smart Excel. So, <clears throat> as for my previous videos, I showed you how to make common things. You can see the common things to be highlighted and non-common things things to be get highlighted in the field of set of uh, sorry set of fields. But now, if you want to again, people are getting confused you know, when you're using not equal to, but you're getting common items. Both. So you can use greater than zero also greater than zero for getting the common items in both the sets. So how to use greater than set and uh, I'm, last week's videos I showed you how to use ranges and all stuff but this video I'm going to show you how to use in a different again in a different format so uh, please select this data in the field which you want to have the data highlighted and uh, as you remember the, the formula is CRC so it's like uh, CRC county for range criteria select this go to home condition formatting new rule use formula to determine which cells to format and here and uh, and here you can do is equal to from if open the parenthesis now <clears throat> count if range so this is the range so I'm going to show you in a different way also. Suppose if you have a long database of nearly 10,000 or 50,000 or 60,000 or 100,000 uh, column, 100,000 in a big column. So, so it's very lengthy. You don't, you don't want to come again and change the data. So what you can do is you can select it in this way, the, the range. In the previous video, I showed you how to hit F3 and uh, how to hit F3 and get the ranges. So now I'm going to show you how to select the whole database. You can select the whole area is C colon C. And uh, then when you select the database automatically it gets hanged for some time. So no problem. We have to make comma and we have to select the uh, criteria that is this is over here. So meanwhile, what we can do is we can have a format. So format, and uh, I will have a border like this. Fill, and I will be selecting a blue color. And uh, font is okay. I'm okay with the font. And now I'm moving a comma. And my criteria is this. So I'll be removing the locks. So I'm hitting F41. So the dollar sign over here is going to release the locks. So I'll be closing the parenthesis. Now this is greater than zero. So the greater than symbol is like this. You can use greater or not equal to also, but I'm using greater than symbol, which is like this and uh, greater than zero. And uh, here you can, uh, and then we'll do OK. And you can see that these are the common items have been selected, have uh, been highlighted. So this is a free area. If you if you can go till the end, which is endless, so do you know it's how vast it is. You can go to the last because I have selected the whole area. So even if I want to have something common, uh, if you want to check this common, so that if I I can make changes over here. And uh, okay, let me show you that. So this is the common things have been selected, so which are common in both ways. So if you want to have CCTV, also you can type CCTV. So when it is CCTV, automatically this is got highlighted, colored because this is a common item. So if I control C, I can remove that. So the same way I want to do this for the. I will do over here. So what I'll be doing is I'll be correcting, selecting the data base and I will go into conditional formatting, new rule and use for use to determine formal sets. So again, I'll be typing is equal to um, if open parenthesis and uh, the range will be this now so the range as it will be vice versa so the range will be here 
and comma and the criteria will be the first for health and i want to make it as free the cell so i'll be making as one two so f4 two times so i'll be closing the parenthesis and again i'll be typing greater than zero and uh, the format i'll be using some using a border fill with some fancy color on let's make a highlight into some uh, more color something like this is okay and you have a border also so you can do okay and okay so you can see this is the one of the way the same like uh, common items for using not equal to or greater than so the items which are common will be highlighted you can see if you want uh, the, the different items to be highlighted then you have to use equal to different items in both set you have to use equal to so i'm using greater than if you want you can uh, check the items if you want you can see with the common items you can remove this and you can see both the things have been gone what you can add again and if you want if you can make a small small also so automatically it gets highlighted so this is the way and i showed you it's a lot for a wrong database you don't want to keep on checking the select this both and if you want to check it conditional formatting manage rules you can go to manage. you can see both the things are highlighted if you want you can delete it and uh, if you want you can add new rules the current selection this worksheet index sheet equal to so whatever the, you can do you can remove it you can delete the, ro uh, the rules also you can add new rules if you want you can edit also you can select this and edit the rule if you want you can select and edit the rule so i have made this eight okay so the whole column over here is selected so it's like greater than zero uh, I cannot make anything for less than zero because anything less than zero is minus. So in <laughs> normal terms, we don't have something for less than zero. So as I showed you, less than zero is less than there is nothing less than zero. So there is nothing. If there is nothing less than zero, we cannot show it on on the data. We cannot. We don't have data. So for negative values and all, so we don't have anything for that. So just I made this to make sure that. It's very easy to understand. So this is the different ways. You know, if you, I already showed you how to remove the formatting. If you want a simple rules, you can remove clear, clear from selected cells. If you select this, and you can uh, go to conditional formatting and clear from the selected cell or entire sheet. Or if you remove entire sheet, all this will be gone within a fraction of seconds. So I hope you, these three videos are more useful, and I showed you in different ways. If you want, I would have showed you in tables, but there is no use if you have two tables. If you want to make this, so you have to do the same things. So I don't want to just show and waste the time. So for ranges, and I have showed in two ways, simple um, by simple way, ranges and selecting the whole database. So I have showed you three things in three different ways. I hope you like this, and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video, and please uh, let more people understand and learn about Microsoft Excel for the betterment of the lives of many people and happily learning so in the next forthcoming videos i will be showing you not now i'll be showing after some time i'll be showing you how to make for two or four items if you have two to three or four sheets or four data field sets and if you want to check the common or uh, non-common items so how to use count ifs and some or something like that so it is count if and how to use in a plural form so i'll be showing that also so have please uh, keep watching my videos and see you soon thank you